which is great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that slide up real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and load a different map here. Okay, so I mentioned before a blueprint to recapture the sky. We have one of those in here, which is just a simple blueprint that um, has a reference to a skylight, and really, on the event graph, it's calling this recapture sky um, function, which allows us to do things like we can maximize the screen, go into G mode, and then another really cool feature that was added by Sebastian Hilaire, who worked on a lot of this uh, sky atmosphere stuff, is you can now hold Control L in the editor, and you have a nice little uh, gizmo there where you can rotate the sun around. Um, so how it works is that left and right movement is the horizontal rotation around the z-axis, and then up and down movement is kind of like how high it is in the sky. So it makes it pretty easy whenever you're in a certain view, you don't have to like bounce back and forth to the details panel or try to find the rotation gizmo or any of that. You're just kind of like, how do I find the best lighting response for this scene? Uh, including you know, going from complete sunrise, blackness to sunrise, you get that nice, really bright red uh, line from the Rayleigh scattering. Um, so jumping in real quick to, we have kind of an invisible material applied to this sky dome right now, but we could apply that, that uh, 2D texture-based sky real quick, which uh, once it's in motion, it might be a little bit more clear that it's a texture-based offset effect, but it's still pretty, uh, hopefully conveys the point of, of why you would want to tie in just a simple fake sky dome to your atmosphere, so that at least you don't have jarring floating sky clouds.